I woke up keenly aware that the day before us was to be our last day on the river this trip, and that by evening we would be at the mouth of the Kentucky and the ending place of all my river travels for the year. But our journey had not yet ended. One of the most beautiful places in the Kentucky River Valley, and one of the most interesting, awaited us as we made our last stop of the voyage at the mouth of Drennan Creek in Henry County. From the old landing there, I climbed steps where people had been climbing steps since the mid-1800s, when the mineral springs on Drennan Creek were first developed as a health resort attended by people from all over the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys, from as far south as New Orleans. Horse-drawn carriages awaited the visitors at the top of the hill in the 1840s, and a carriage awaited me too. This one driven by Mr. Jack Sharp, a Drennan resident, who had agreed to drive me along the same road the vacationers had taken to the springs so long ago. This is great. Boy, this is the best ride I've had in a long time. Drennan's first significance to living creatures was ages ago when the mammoths and mastodons and ancient bison and other prehistoric creatures were drawn to the salt licks and grazing meadows that have always characterized the location. Indians came to Drennan in pursuit of the beasts and used the mineral licks as a source of salt and for healing purposes long after the giant animals were gone. Come on, kid. In the comparatively recent history of the steamboat era, Drennan attracted speculators and investors interested in the development potential of the ancient grazing grounds. The pioneers had learned from the Indians of the reputed health-giving powers of the waters from Drennan Springs. So it was perhaps inevitable that a health spa would be established there. By 1846, a hotel large enough to accommodate 300 to 400 guests had been erected on the grounds. Daily boat and stagecoach service brought people from the deep south to spend their vacations at Drennan Springs. They came for the waters, but they also came because it was a fashionable place where one might meet a future husband or wife. Many people came to Drennan thinking it was a refuge from recurring cholera epidemics. But when cholera broke out at Drennan in 1849, the whole place was deserted within 24 hours, and Drennan never again flourished as a health resort. The Drennan area is representative of the meadows and farmlands found throughout the lower reaches of the Kentucky River Valley. Here, only a few miles upstream from the Ohio River, the valley is at its broadest, and the farms slope right to the water's edge. <laughs> 